This presentation is going to focus on the section of classroom management. We could start with a definition of classroom management as being the skill of organising the class, individual students within that class, and what takes place within the class. Perhaps one of the most important resources for achieving these things is you. And in terms of you, there are a number of things that you can use to help with the classroom management, and they include, though they're not limited to, the use of your eyes, the use of your voice, and the use of gesture. So let's take each of these in turn and see how they can be used to help with the management of the classroom. So starting with our eyes, first of all, the eyes can be used in a number of ways, and they can certainly be used to hold attention. The eyes can be used to show when something is correct, and the eyes can also be used to give encouragement to students and, indeed, to dissuade. Moving on to the voice, the voice itself will change naturally depending upon what you're doing in the classroom. And we should be careful that when using our voice that we enunciate every single word very clearly. In the same way that we write on the board in the form of print, we should try to speak very slowly and very clearly, making each sound as we pronounce those words. Another thing, it is very important that you only use language that is at the level of the students that you're teaching. In the same way as we're talking about enunciating every word, if your language is above the level of your students, then that perfect diction is going to be a waste of time. And perhaps the final thing that we could say here with the use of the voice is that the voice itself is going to change naturally depending upon what you're doing. So the stress and intonation when giving instructions is probably going to be different to when you're giving praise and feedback to your students. Finally, we have the use of gesture. Gesture has a number of uses within the classroom, and some of the major ones would include to reduce the teacher talk time. So the use of gesture instead of actually saying something. Gesture can also be used to add to or convey meaning. Other uses may include the use of gesture to add visual interest. And perhaps finally here, we can use the use of gesture to actually increase or decrease the pace of the class. So the use of the eyes, the use of the voice, and the use of gesture are all very useful tools for managing the classroom process.